Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. I'm Kirti Sophia Purnachin and in today's session we'll be learning the poem Dream Deferred by Langston Hughes. This is part 1. James Mercer Langston Hughes was born on February 1, 1902. He was an American poet, novelist, short story writer and a columnist. He was one of the earliest innovators of the literary art form called jazz poetry. Hughes is known best for his work in the Harlem Renaissance. One of his most famous works that he did was in the Harlem Renaissance time. The Weary Blues in 1926 was his first book of poetry. His first novel, Not Without Laughter, won the Harmon Gold Medal for Literature. Hughes established his theatre troupe in Los Angeles. His ambition to write for the movies materialized when he co-wrote the screenplay for Way Down South. During the mid-1950s and 1960s, Hughes' popularity among the younger generation of black writers varied as his reputation increased worldwide with the gradual advancement toward racial integration many black writers considered his writings of black pride and its corresponding subject matter out of date in 1943 lincoln university awarded langston hughes an honorary lit d in 1960, NAACP awarded Hughes the Springon Medal for Distinguished Accomplishment by an African American. In 1961, Hughes was inducted into the National Institute of Arts and Letters. In the year 1963, Howard University's awarded Langston Hughes, an honorary doctorate. In 1973, the very first Langston Hughes medal was given by the City College of New York. 2002, scholar Malefi Kate Asante listed Langston Hughes on his list of 100 greatest African Americans. In 1979, Langston Middle School was constructed in Reston, Virginia. Langston Hughes passed away on May 22, 1967 due to complications from an abdominal surgery because of prostate cancer. He was 65 years old when he passed away. Hughes was a true talent of his time. He famously wrote about the period in which he lived that the Negro was in vogue, which was later paraphrased as when Harlem was in vogue. This is a very uh, notable phrase written by him. A few major works written by Langston Hughes are The Langston Hughes Reader, Good Morning Revolution, Uncollected Social Protest Writings by Langston Hughes, The Collected Works of Langston Hughes, The Selected Letters of Langston Hughes, My Adventures as a Social Poet, The Negro Artist and the Racial Mountain. 
In addition to leaving us a large body of poetic works, Hughes wrote 11 plays and countless works of prose, including the well-known Simple Books. Okay, he has written a series of Simple Books, S-I-M-P-L-E, Simple Books. And a few of the titles of these books are Simple Speaks His Mind, Simple Stakes a Claim, Simple Takes a Wife, Simple's Uncle Sam, and so on. He edited anthologies and they are The Poetry of the Negro, The Book of Negro Folklore. And he has wrote an acclaimed autobiography and the name of the autobiography is The Big C. And it was written in 1940. So, as I've already told, uh, Langston Hughes passed away in 1967 in New York City. In his memory, his residence at 20 East 127th Street in Harlem has been given landmark status by the New York City Preservation Commission and East 127th Street has been renamed Langston Hughes Place. So that's all for today. I hope today's session was fruitful for you all. If you like this video, do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you again in the next session. Bye-bye.